Hello everyone, Palmar here with episode 14 of Let's Mod Reboot. In today's episode, we are going to talk about recipes. Uh, so, the previous uh, three episodes have all been about giving you some background information before we get into this one, because I wanted you guys to have a better understanding of what an item stack is, and NBT data, and uh, especially the OR dictionary. Now I'm going to show you how to add recipes for your items and blocks. So, in this uh, particular project, we have one item, we have one block. They have been added to a creative tab, our own, and uh, but we don't have any recipes on how to make these items. So we should probably do that now, eh? I went over in an earlier episode that pre-init is where you want to initialize your items and your blocks. However, init is where you want to register your recipes. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to add a class to my init package, and I'm just going to call it recipes. And I'm going to add a public static void init method. So this is just a method inside this class that will actually register all the recipes. And inside of my main mod class, I am going to call it. There we go. So what are recipes? You probably see some tabs along the top here. Um, if you've played Minecraft a bit, you're probably familiar with the concept of shaped recipes and shapeless recipes. Uh, an example of a shaped recipe would be a diamond pickaxe, which is three diamonds along the top and then sticks down the middle in the, uh, uh, to make it look like a, a T or a pickaxe in this case. That is a shaped recipe. You can't um, put the diamonds all along the left and get a diamond pickaxe. Um, it won't register that as a valid recipe. A shapeless recipe is one that it doesn't matter um, what order um, things are in. So um, a good example would be if you wanted to take a wood log and turn it into planks. It doesn't matter uh, what spot that wood log is in, you will get planks out of it. If you're curious as to um, how the cla particular classes work, um, you can just look these up. So. Uh, shaped recipe is for shape res uh, shaped recipes. Uh, you can see how it all works here. Similarly, shapeless recipes. Um, you can see how it all works here. Both of these classes, you will probably notice, implement this iRecipe interface. And this just lists the interface. So uh, the inner workings of these two aren't particularly uh, important for us here. Um, we're going to be more concerned with how to actually add our recipes. Something else I want to show as well is, uh, so we have shaped recipes and we have shaped list recipes. Minecraft Forge introduced the OR dictionary. And similarly, we have shaped OR recipe. And we have shaped list OR recipe. So these are very similar. Uh, to shaped and shapeless. The difference being is that you can actually uh, specify a or dictionary entry um, for your recipe. So uh, once again, if you want to look through the source, you can just look up shaped or recipe and shapeless or recipe. But for right here, why don't we try adding some recipes? Okay, so why don't I show you how to add the vanilla shaped and shapeless recipes first, and then I'll show you how you can add uh, shaped or recipes and shapeless or recipes after that. So if you want to add a sh uh, vanilla shaped or shapeless recipe, the methods are in the game registry, and you want to add recipe. So this is for adding a shaped recipe. So what it takes in here is the first, we'll import that, the first thing is going to be the output uh, so it's going to be an item stack, and why don't we make it? Why don't we make our um, our maple leaf item first? The next thing is going to be some entries showing the recipe. So, for example, let's say hmm, let's say we make our maple leaf with um, just some sticks. Let me do that. Um, so let's put, uh, let's make it a, uh, a cross pattern. So I'm going to do this. And I'll explain why I did this afterwards. Okay. 
the way this works is you have your output. These next three parameters actually specify the shape of the recipe. So blank means nothing. S um, is the token for a particular item. And it goes top row, middle row, bottom row. After that, for every letter or token you have in here, you'll have two parameters to basically say, for this token, it's actually this item. So let's try this in game, just so I can show you how this works. Okay, the game's loaded up. We have some sticks here. And there we go. Now, you can see here, it's a stick, three sticks, one stick. The letter S means stick. And that's how you get your maple leaf of awesomeness. Oh, if you close it, it's just going to dump your sticks on the ground like it always has. Now, I'll show you how to do a shapeless recipe. So to add a shapeless recipe, once again, you have your, uh, let's do the blocks first. So you have your output, and then after that, because it's shapeless, you don't need to worry about all of this stuff here. After that, you just need to add um, the inputs. So. Uh, mod items, maple leaf. So let's say you can get yourself a flag with two maple leaves. Okay. So let's run this. Okay. So let's make ourselves two maple leaves. I'll just do this. So here you can see. I can get my Canadian flag from two maple leaves in any positions. It's completely shapeless. So once again, if you had a shaped one, and this could also have been add shaped recipe. The first parameter for these guys here is the output. For shaped, then you have to tell it the shape, and you have to tell it what each letter means. For a shape list, you tell it the output, and then it is just you just keep adding entries for the different inputs. So that is all it is for vanilla shaped and shapeless recipes. Okay, so now that I've shown you how to add a vanilla shaped and shapeless recipe, I'm going to show you how to add a uh, shaped or diction, um, recipe and a shaped or a shapeless or recipe. So similarly. To how we did it this way, I want you to notice something here. So we have add shaped recipe, but we also have add recipe, and we see that i recipe um, type again. And I wanted to point out that shaped or dictionary and shaped lists or dictionary also implement i recipe. So we can actually do it like this. So instead of doing it uh, this way here, which is to add a shaped recipe, we can actually say, I want to add a new shaped or recipe. We can also say add recipe new shapeless or recipe. Okay. So there's multiple different implementations of add recipe in game registry here. So there is the concept of uh, this one here where it takes an item stack and then an, uh, a parameter parameterized list of uh, recipe inputs, uh, parameters, and it will just call itself add shaped recipe. You can also specify add a i recipe, which is what shaped or re recipe and shapeless or recipe. Uh, Pardon me, I can talk. Shapeless or recipe is. 
So we can look at the constructors here. Add shaped or recipe here. Uh, it follows the same method as we have here. Same as add shapeless or recipe. It's the same idea here. The difference being is that we can actually, instead of specifying an item stack, we can actually say, um, I want to use this or dictionary entry. So why don't we try doing this differently here? I'm going to add the same recipe, but in instead, uh, and let's do this one here as well. I'll just copy this over. I'm actually going to delete these two lines here. So here we're adding a shaped or recipe and a shapeless or recipe. Whereas before, we actually, when we told uh, the recipe that uh, the letter S is actually equal to this item stack, when it comes to an or recipe, you can actually do an item stack or you could do this, which is the name of a or dictionary entry that represents uh, all wooden sticks. Okay, so here we have ourselves a shaped or recipe and a shapeless or recipe. Um, the shapeless or recipe is still going to be the same as the one it was before um, because we don't have these registered in the or dictionary and there's really no point to it, it's only us. Uh, but I want to show you how this one works here. Okay, so the game's loaded. And so we only have these are two recipes here. So similar to before, this works the exact same. So this is the shapeless recipe. Two maple leaves make a flag. What uh, I also want you to show here is that this recipe still works. Uh, so we have the idea that five sticks of type stick wood give you a maple leaf. And this you won't necessarily notice a, a huge difference in your um, your mod development. This is important for when you're dealing with uh, other mods where compatibility is an issue. So if we were to run this mod at the same time as Binomes of Plenty, which is a mod I happen to know that adds a lot of different kinds of sticks, any combination of sticks anything that's registered to stick wood in the or dictionary will successfully uh, craft your item. And I just want to point out that this actually does um, still work here. So I could say this. Let's try it out. Okay, so now here we are testing that this is in fact a shapeless or a dictionary recipe. One thing that's registered to stick wood plus one maple leaf will give us a flag. So I just wanted to show that that worked as well. So in this episode, I have shown you how to add a shaped recipe, a shapeless recipe, as well as the shaped or recipes and shapeless or recipes that Minecraft Forge offers as well. So uh, with this in mind, uh, remember to initialize your recipes inside of your init method. Uh, and go forth and add recipes for your items and blocks. So we'll see you next time in the next episode where I will show you how to do your own key bindings. Uh, until then, I hope you guys liked the video and we'll see you next time. Take it easy.